we're looking at a concept called logarithmic differentiation. So what this means is we use our logarithmic properties to make our differentiation process easier. Let me show you how. This first example, we've got a function here. It's a rational function. It's very messy. We can try using the quotient rule combined with the product rule combined with the chain rule, and it'll be a big messy function. But we've got these logarithmic properties and we've got implicit differentiation. So at this stage, you must be able how you must know how to do implicit differentiation and you need to know how to differentiate logarithmic functions. So what we're going to do is we're going to take lin on both sides. So lin of y is equal to lin of this big monster, x squared plus 2 times x minus 1 to the power of 5 divided by 3x squared minus 2x. So taking lin on both sides, we're not changing anything. All right, next thing we're going to do is differentiate both sides with implicit differentiation. Because now I've got lin of y and lin of something. Now y is a function of x, so I'll have to use implicit differentiation if I want dy dx now. But before I get there, I look at this function on the right-hand side, lin of something. And I know, wait a minute, I've got logarithmic properties that can help me take that apart. I know that lin of a to the power m is m lin a. I know lin of m times n is lin m plus lin n. I know lin of m divided by n is lin m minus lin n. I'm going to use all of those and take a look if you agree with this. This gives me lin of x squared plus 2 plus lin of x minus 1 to the power 5 minus lin of 3x squared minus 2x. There we go. Now I can do one more thing, that x to the power 5. That's lin of x squared plus 2 plus 5 lin of x minus 1 minus lin of 3x squared minus 2x. Now the question is, would you rather differentiate the function at the bottom here or the one at the top? The one at the bottom, less chance for mistakes or for forgetting something because we just have the chain rule and the lin function and the derivative of lin of something is just 1 over that thing times its derivative. So let us use implicit differentiation. What's the derivative of lin y? It's 1 over y dy dx. Now this dy dx is what I'm after. On the right-hand side, I just have x's. The derivative of lin of x squared plus 2 is 1 over x squared plus 2 times the derivative of x squared plus 2, which is 2x. Plus 5 times the derivative of lin x minus 1 is 1 over x minus 1 times the derivative of x minus 1, which is just 1. Minus 1 over 3x squared minus 2x times the derivative of 3x squared minus 2x, which is 6x minus 2. And there we go. Are we finished? Not totally, but we've done with our differentiation. Now we just need, excuse me, now we just need dy dx. What is dy dx? Well, it's, I must get rid of this 1 over y, so I multiply both sides by y. So I've got y times this whole thing. Now, what is y? Because it, y was given originally as a function of x, I don't want to write y there, I want the whole everything in terms of x on my right hand side. So I just rewrite y times this derivative. And then we can do some simplifications if needed. So using logarithmic differentiation makes our differentiation process a bit easier in that less chance for mistakes with product rules, quotient rules, and chain rules all mixed up. Let's look at another example. This one's going to go a little bit further. I've got the root of a function. So that means that function to the power of half. So lin of y is the same as lin of x plus 1 over x squared minus 2 to the power 4, x to the power 5, everything to the power of half. So again, my logarithmic laws. That tells me that's a half lin of x plus 1 over x squared minus 2 to the power 4 times x to the power 5. All right, now I'm going to do the next two steps in one. So pay attention. This is a half. The half applies to everything, so I've got the brackets. This numerator is lin of x plus 1 minus. 
Now, because there are two, the product of two things in the denominator, I'll have to minus both of them because they're both below the line. So I've got minus 4 lin of x squared minus 2. I took that exponent to the front as well. Minus 5 lin x. There we go. Now we can differentiate. The derivative of lin y with implicit differentiation is 1 over y dy dx. Half stays the same. We keep the constant out. Lin of x plus 1, the derivative is 1 over x plus 1. Minus 4 times. The derivative of lin of x squared minus 2 is 1 over x squared minus 2 times the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. Minus 5 over x. The derivative of lin x is just 1 over x. Right. So we want dy dx alone on one side. Well, it's y times, so... It's y, which is just that whole thing. We can rewrite times a half. And you can simplify this if you want. Not much to do. That's a 8x over x squared minus 2 minus 5 over x. And there we have it, logarithmic differentiation. So it makes our differentiation process easier. But wait, there are times where that's the only thing I can do. Let's look at the next function. Here's a weird one. x to the power x. And there's variations on this function, but I've got, it seems like a power function, but it seems like an exponential function, but it's neither. Because I've got a variable in my base and in my exponent. Now we don't have any logarithmic, sorry, we don't have any rules, differentiation rules to fix this, to apply to a function that has variables in my base and in my exponent. I've sketched this graph for x values greater than zero so you can just see what it actually looks like how it behaves but you can imagine as x gets bigger x to the power x is just going to grow very fast but where x is between zero and one is where it behaves interestingly all right so here we have to use logarithmic differentiation so let's take a look lin of y is equal to lin of x to the power x now we can use our log laws and that's x times lin x and now we can use our implicit differentiation. So the left-hand side is 1 over y dy dx. My right-hand side, I've now got a product rule. The first one times the derivative of the second plus the derivative of the first times the second. So it actually becomes quite a simple thing on the right-hand side. I've got x divided by x, so it's 1 plus lin x. There we go. So what is dy dx? It's y times this function. So it's x to the power x times 1 plus lin x. So this is an occasion where logarithmic differentiation is really our only way out. We cannot, we don't have log, we don't have differentiation rules that we can apply to that. So we use logarithmic differentiation to get us there.